Which side do you want to go? Ow. 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 Alright, first and foremost, this is not included in this. This is from a game called Poetry for Neanderthals. It's a whacking stick. And I see now it was a mistake to bring it into this. We have a little bit of a different setup this time, so bear with us. Different camera here. We've got another camera. We've got another camera up here. Recording what we do here, onwards and upwards. Instructions? Check away, Daddy. Should we have a look? Uh, blue guy. Where's the blue guy gone? Gonna be the blue, ele blue elephant. Yeah, I wanna be the blue guy. Right, here you go. Let's pop this on here. Thank you, Daddy. I'm in my house. And we will get those huts by collecting different resources, which we call, uh, ooh, 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 which we call apples. What vases? Horns. Horns. And what do we call these? Sometimes we call them arrows, sometimes we call them trees because they stand up. But. And last but not least, fish. fishies. I have some fishies. I'm going to be pink then. That's purple. That's kind of pink. Pinky purple, I would okay. say. <laughs> would you now? I want this one to go here. What do I need? A... <laughs> <laughs> Daddy. Sorry. Did that one? Be... Oh, oh! <laughs> on these huts they tell you what you need to build them so for this one look you need a horn a fish and a vase something that i really like is each one of those things is in the picture it's kind of cool no, <laughs> can we have it we need to put it on here put your hut on there thank you thank you on the table Buddy. Hey, buddy. <laughs> How you doing, buddy? Hey, <laughs> buddy. <laughs> okay, so you put these resources on here. Yeah, you your horns, your apples, your vases, your arrows slash trees, and your fish. <laughs> Definitely a mistake. Uh, these little doggies are wild cards. They can be anything. They go on this space just here. Hey, bye bye. Okay, bye, Stinky. Sorry. Oh, let's do it. Bye, Stinky. We take these, uh, like, tree cards. They've all got different six. things on them. And you put them around the board. I think it's four at the top, four at the bottom, three on the side, and three on the side. Then we take our big, chunky, tactile meeples and we put them on the village spot. Oops, you knocked all the vases over. You owe me a hundred pounds. I forgot, sorry. One of each type goes on the mark down here. There's no dice or anything like that for movement. What do you do? What do you do to move, Ellie? Um, pick the dice on the number. Yeah, so we take, you pick one of these trees around here. Then you move the number. Yeah, if you get a number, one you to six of them are the numbers. Number. Yeah. You you do, you do what the numbers say. Can you show them? So if Elodie turns this one over, which is a six. <laughs> now you, you put that there, where it was, don't you? Mm -hmm. The other way up. And then you move, how many do you move? One. Two. Elodie's landed on the fish space, so she gets to keep a fish. Now you can see at all times what it costs to do these three. What it costs to do these three huts here. So we know this one is an arrow, a fish, and an apple, a horn, a vase, and an apple, a horn, a fish, and an apple. Look at me! Look at that fish! So it's Daddy's turn now. So I'll turn over one of these, and I'll get. I got a four look. I got so I'll go one, two, three, four, pick up a vase. You put it behind your little screen here. So no one can see. So no one can see, good girl. And we keep collecting resources 
Until, I'm going to pick a horn. Until two things happen. I'm going to pick a horn. You, no, the horn, the horn card means that you go all the way round here to the horn square and get to pick up a horn. When two things happen, you can build a hut. When you've got the right resources and when you land on this space in the middle. Now there is one tile around here that will let you go straight to the middle. That's a good one to remember where it is. Okay, daddy's go. Oh, I get to go to the doggy space. So I take my pink one all the way around to the doggy space. There's only two of these. It doesn't matter so much in a two player game, but in a three or four player game, you choose who to steal one of if they're both gone. Where are you going? <laughs> I'm gonna pick this one. Okay, what did you get? A tree. The trees, uh -oh. such arrows. So we'll move your blue one all the way over here so you get an arrow. A fisher and a horn and an arrow. A fisher horn and an arrow. Now, can you get any of the huts with that? No, because they all have a apple. apple on it. So we need an apple. Okay. Can you pick this one? <gasps> she got the apple. Yeah, right, I move, said. Move your, you did. You did said. Move your blue one all the way to the apple then. One. And take an apple. All right, I can go to the market. That's nice. We can explain what the market is. In the market, I can trade any of my resources, my pot or my fish, for one of something else. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna grab one of those apples, just because hot property apples. Who knew? Okay, so I now have a vase, an apple, and a dog. But so I have I more could, than you. You do. Have more you than do. You. So I could use the dog as a horn and get this one. Okay, you'll get little monkey. Mm. Ooh, Elodie's drawn the hut. So that means that she gets to go to the middle, blue one. And that means if she can, she can build a hut. Which one can you build? This hut. And now, Ellie, you get to swap two of these over. You get to swap two of their places and then turn them back over. We could take the horn and put it up here and put the four down here. So you can remember there's a four there. Can we turn them all over? Okay. I remember that one. Okay. There, so so when you turn them all over, the person who's turning them over gets to pick where one goes first. Uh, okay. <laughs> That's a bit too strategic for El. So we normally just turn them over. The younger yeah, players yeah, yeah, yeah. turn them over. Okay. Now the game ends when someone's built three huts by getting all those resources. Speed it up. Blah, 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 blah. very much now okay for the purposes of this video and if you also fancy a shorter game we only play to two um huts as you can see and ready one okay ready steady go <gasps> we both gave it a six <laughs> <laughs> that's my first six oh. well done for winning mm, yeah. <sighs> Mr. Stinky and can talk to you for a minute. This game is, is great. There's everything about it. I love it. The resource management, the collecting the cards, the remembering where things are, um, all the big chunky components, just down to these tiny little huts that have this fantastic art on them, each one. Um, these little 3D things. It's just so extra and it's still really simple. This is the most gamey game that I've played with Elodie. Uh, she doesn't really understand the uh, the strategy of collecting the right resources and things, but she will. She will. And I think it's just great. Um, yeah. Simple. Now cut to me being assaulted by Mr. Stinky. I think we're done. I think we're done. I think we're done. We're done.